Hello everyone, my name's Yvonne and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these cards using Sig Kiritaki Art and Graphic pens, which are lovely, soft, pliable pens. And they will make your work look like it's watercolour, <coughs> even though you haven't had to get paintbrushes, expensive paintbrushes and everything else out to, to do them. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and it would be really nice if you actually tell me from which country you're watching this video. It's just interesting to know how, how far the reach is. So off we go. So not only do you need the pens, but you're also going to need a card. I've cut this one 14 by 14. Then I've also got some ribbon to do the border. Three millimeter, nice soft green ribbon some very fine double-sided tape, 3mm tape to stick it on and we've gone really old school and I've also got some peel-offs for the bottom. So I'll show you what to do. Right, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your green pen and we're going to think that the line of this is approximately there so we want our flower heads the, t the highest ones to be there and think of it as a bouncing ball okay so we'll start with one which is higher and about here one that comes down one that comes in the middle not quite as high as that one that comes down a bit lower and one that goes back up to here Right, when you've done that, you then take your pens and decide which colours you want first. Now, the, you're better off putting the higher ones in the lighter colour. And all I'm going to do is point there at that little dot and I'm going to roll the pen. And as you roll the pen, you'll see that it leaves a sort of white gap there, which makes it, helps it look like there are white spaces in the flower. And that makes it look more like two colour rather than one. And then the next thing to do while it's still wet, just go in and dab a little bit more colour there and it'll give it a bit of depth in the centre as well. From this one you can see that the extra colour, uh, this, sorry, the lighter one is down at the bottom, so we'll do that one as well while we've got this out. Point and roll, point and roll. Your, these pens are quite pliable, so it allows you to get the whole of the pen down. And they do look like watercolours, that's the whole point of this. Let's do the lilac one in the centre now. Same thing here, point. Make sure you point at the centre each time. Now this one's already giving me a bit of extra colour in the centre. Just do those two. And then back to the bright pink. The other thing you might notice is that each time I do a petal, I rotate the card. You're doing basically the same movement. You're just moving the card rather than trying to move yourself. Okay, let's go back in here now. Let's do that. While it's still wet, you get a nice finish on it. Just enough, just a suggestion of a little bit of depth. Then take this pen and we're going to use the uh, fine nib. No attempt, please don't attempt to make them straight. It won't look as good if you do. Right, next step. We're going to take our double-sided tape and 
we're going to put uh, a line of double sided across there. Do the double sided first, don't try and stick the double sided to the ribbon and then do it the other way around. You'll find you have real trouble doing that. So bye eye. There. Okay, rip off. Now an easy way to lift double sided because it's a pain in the neck. It's either to use a fine needle, but if you've got one of these awls, you can press down really well. And then just lift. Okay, once you've done that, take your ribbon and go across like that. Now, when you've done this, you'll find that the Turn it on the wrong way around and cut from the back. Okay, cut from the back because you'll get a far straighter edge. And then that double-sided will stop your ribbon from um, fraying. Next, we take our peel off and choose in whichever one you fancy. Many happy returns, quite a good one. I use that quite a lot. And... If you want to get it straight, the easiest way to get it straight is to take some cello tape, stick it down to the one you're using. Try to be careful not to get the one from the top. And lifting this carefully, the peel off will come off with the tape. It will, I promise you it will. Place it exactly where you want it to be. If you want it in the middle, you can put it there, or if you want it in the side, I tend to be a sideways on person myself. So you know it's nice and straight now, and there's not going to be a problem. Press it down really well. And lift. And there we are, it's on straight. And basically, there's your card, finished. So don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll carry on making uh, videos for you.